this came from conpaz.com the life story of Delroy Uzi Edwards a Jamaican that ran afoul of the law is actually seeking a pen friend and I quote this was done on July 7th 2018 number 25109-053 and I'm gonna give you the statistic on Mr. Edwards his birth date is December 15th 1959 incarcerated since 1988 release date doing life convicted of RICO violent crime in aid of racketeering activity hometown New York City New York ethnicity Jamaican slash African American religion Rastafarian height 510 weight 195 pounds wants to write to anyone sexual orientation straight open to gay or bisexual contact no will write overseas yes seeks friendship legal help and he writes my name is Delroy Edwards I'm currently being held at the notorious United States highest federal supermax isolation facility in Colorado USA called ADX a place described by a representative of the United States as a clean version of hell this means total isolation and generally 24 hour a day in a tiny single person cell the size of a two queen size mattresses most convict here or at the ADX are not allowed to visit or phone calls some have no TV or radio some never lay eyes on each other some go years without talking to any other person or years without fresh air or sunlight and for many this is death row a place where most like myself are literally condemned to death i've been held at the adx since 1995 and of course i am sick literally of prison and of being alone i'm five feet ten 204 pounds funny well built physically fit mentally strong and spiritually grounded i was born and raised in kingston jamaica and i first integrated to the united states in 1977. on march 9 1988 i was arrested and accused by the united states attorney of new york of operating an international criminal enterprise out of Brooklyn, New York. I was tried, convicted, and sentenced on my birthday, December 15, 1989, to multiple life sentences. I've been boxed in, entombed in solitary confinement, in total isolation, in dire conditions, for almost the entire time where I've lost everything. This is really hard at a place where I've endured unspeakable systematic oppression, overwhelming hardship, and we are now I'm facing an unsustainable future. After decades without visit and crushing loneliness in both of the two United States most notorious Supermax federal facilities, US Marion and the ADX Florence, the true loneliness of prison has set upon me. So, in the midst of this pain, my sincere hope is to find a pen pal, someone who knows my position and understands who I am as a person, a free-thinking friend who wants to share their thoughts and wants to help someone who could cultivate ideas and provide innovative solutions, someone who is interested in giving a voice to the voiceless, someone who wants to learn and wants to offer something special that differentiates themselves from their peers. Of course, those are not requirements for writing, but aspiration for lasting friendship. Gender, age, race, nationality, sexual preferences, etc. are not important. 
As a Rasta man, I am in favor of acceptance. My hobbies being as though I was born and raised in a coastal seaside neighborhood, I've always been an outdoor adventurous person. I enjoy pristine beaches, crystalline waters, boats, the ocean, and seafood. I like swimming, saltwater fishing, and cooking. My hobbies are hiking, running, riding horses, cycling, weightlifting, arts, visiting the museum, traveling, and attending sports games, soccer, American football, basketball, cricket, etc. In prison, I read a lot, write, study, and have successfully participated in multiple educational courses and earned multiple certification of achievements. If you recognize my plight or if you are just curious, please give me a chance and treat yourself to a friend. I'm absolutely confident in saying that I would be honored and humbled if I am the object of your choice for a friend. I'll make tremendous efforts to connect with you and my responses will provide additional insight. Thank you kindly for your time and understanding and thank you for considering writing. Please write or email me. I would be so incredibly grateful. Yours truly. Many rivers to cross, a path without obstacles, probably doesn't lead anywhere. Respect. Delroy Edwards, number 25109-053, ADX Florence, PO Box 8500, Florence, Colorado, 81226-85. Zero, zero. What a powerful brother. What a powerful brother. And a Jamaican at that. A pioneer. A trendsetter. One who has blazed trails. Young people, I understand that some of us sometimes like the flashy things in life. And sometimes we'll do it at any cost. Me living in the United States and why I find Delroy's story so fascinating was the fact that I was there. I was in the United States of America, 1980. I went there August 15, 1980. It wasn't an easy place. I learned so much things about this great country. I educated myself as a black man. I know who I am. I know my purpose. And that is why I chose not to be incarcerated, not even one time, not to go to prison, not even one time, but to come home to my country, Jamaica, and to help youngsters, talented, beautiful young men and women to live a life, live your dreams, and to become anything that you want to become in a positive life. I know I'm working, and I'm working assiduously to help make a difference in my country. Because remember, in 1961, when John F. Kennedy was inaugurated, he said these now famous words, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Mr. Edwards, I wish you all the best in life. Seven consecutive life sentence that is a tall order but one never know one never know the almighty god as a way of working miracles so one day possibly one day mr edwards will be able to love and appreciate some of the simplest things that life has to offer freedom is very important and i want that at any cost Thank you very much for watching. And I do hope that you all can have a safe day. Thank you.